Hey YouTube, Dumas RC, back with another uh, opening video. This one is all Hot Wheels premium items. Some boulevard, some entertainment, uh, pop culture, tra team transport, display sets, and a couple two-packs. Um, so we will, I, I need to get a new setup. <laughs> I can't, this is way not working. Oh, as nicely as I wanted it to, but uh... I have the display sets up here anyway. But anyway, um, I'll quit complaining and we will just get right to it. First up, we got uh, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6 for uh, Entertainment Line Forza Horizon 5. Um, this was early, from earlier this year. I think this is the same mix as the Cyberpunk uh, Porsche. Let's open it right here. Take fit and blister, and there we are. Uh, casting debuted in car culture in 2021. I think it was blue. If I recall, it was blue. Um, cool casting. I just wish the windows were not as tinted as they are. But oh well, it's really cool casting. Um, good to see it. You have another use. I love these wheels on this car too. I think they fit very well, especially as a racer, racing car. So, there you have it. Carbon fiber painted hood, Forza logo on top and on the rear fenders. We got for the plate, gamer. <laughs> All right, next uh, the Cyberpunk Porsche 911 Turbo, the 930. Um, this is a game, right? I don't, I have no freaking clue. This is a game. I never played it. I don't think I ever heard of it until this Porsche came out. <laughs> this has been a very popular one. A lot of people have been after this one all year, uh, at least since the start. Uh, since it started coming out, anyway. And uh, awesome casting. I hope we. I hope we get a lot of use out of this one. I think those those uh, Larry Wood five spokes are the perfect wheel to use on this casting too. So looks good. Awesome car, not, not a whole lot more to say about it. It's just really good casting. I know a lot of people is gonna be probably make their uh, f uh, favorite release of the year end lists and stuff like that. So, all right, next up, the uh, Mattel Brands uh, pop culture line. This is the Barbie Cool Combi. Uh, actually, all four of this, you know, these ones, a lot of these I picked up from uh, uh, Maze Collectibles. Just You've heard me mention them multiple times. Check just check the uh, uh, what do you call it? Description link to his uh, Instagram will be on there. So now this has been probably the most popular uh, from this uh, pop culture set for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it looks cool. Perfect, perfect colors and all that for it. Even even without the Barbie tie-in, I think it was like. Like lose the Barbie logos on here, and it just it works on the car. <laughs> All right, next, uh, my favorite one from the set, the Hot Wheels A5 Astro Van drag 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 van. Cool to see this one get used again. Like ever since its uh, debut on Boulevard back in 2013, has been kind of reserved, but only pretty much primarily only for uh, pop culture. Actually, I know it's only been reserved for that because I, I don't know of another really any release outside of pop culture for it. <laughs> this one looks awesome. The black moon disc wheels, red window, old school hot the original Hot Wheels logo from the '60s. Just cool release in general. I love this one. All right, next. Uh, going back a little bit to 2021, this custom 70 Chevy Nova. I finally picked this one up. I don't even remember where. I don't think I got this from Maze. <laughs> a lot of these I did. I don't think this one I did, though. But, um, I forget where I grabbed this one. But I was finally able to add this one to my collect to the collection. Got I definitely got to add that, get that green one that uh, recently came out, too. Um... Yeah, let's see. Nova. 
can't really tell. There's something there on the back. I just can't really tell what it says. <laughs> anyway, uh, black carbon fiber painted hood, black base, gray paint. I think th this is just a cool race for, like racy version of this. It's like a time attack car. Awesome. And like uh, the wider five spokes. I didn't realize that they started doing that with the at least these wider uh, medium diameter five spokes. So that's good to see that to now too. Not just the six spokes being wide so yeah. all right next up delorean zemek uh almost very similar to the boulevard release back in 2012 but this one being done in thailand the deco is much cleaner i know the uh that boulevard one there's a lot the original boulevard one a lot of paint quality issues with the uh, side stripe Oh, it's the newer tool, too. I didn't realize. Okay. Interesting. So they, uh, I forgot when. Like, when this was a, uh, super treasure hunt in the main line, they, uh, it was retooled. This was not its own separate piece. Now it's, uh, I think it's, I assume it's tied into the window piece now. But, um, that's another difference between the 2012 main, uh, Boulevard. <laughs> Cool. Good details. I mean, Thailand, you're not going to get a lot of quality issues out of Thailand as far as um, ignoring the uh, freaking dot matrix deco sometimes. But yeah. All right. Next up. Uh, casting I'm not thrilled, horribly thrilled with. But I was able to get this in the original one fairly cheap, so I figured what the hell I'll grab them. 66 Pinec GTO. And yeah, it's it's weird weird looking car casting, in my opinion. There was so, someone pointed out like with it like I remember when fir I first saw the the gray and red one. And like I just couldn't point my pin point my finger to it but there was something about I just didn't like and I'm still not the biggest fan of this one even a year and a half two years two years later after it came out I just I'm still not the biggest I'm still going to criticize it because it's just the way the way the rear is the way the rear fender and the wheel it's just it, it just doesn't look right I still like I don't know. I know there's people that agree with me. Um, yeah. Oh, still though, this one looks this one looks good in the in the powder blue here. So, like I said, I was able to grab them fairly cheap. So what the hell? Add it. <laughs> All right, back to pop culture. Jurassic World Mercedes Unimog U thirteen hundred L mobile veterinary unit. I have not seen a Jurassic World movie, so I have no clue if there's actually Mercedes like this in the movie or not, or if they just kind of had the idea to do something like this one for it. But good to see this casting not used in pop culture, which is where it's mostly been outside of a single car culture release from the... Off -road, like an off-road rally, so I forgot the name of the mix, but, um, and this one, this one works. It's not your typical, it's not pop culture deco with just some weird logos on it. So it, it worked. It works for the car. I'm happy with it. I'm glad to see this one. I was glad to see this one get use outside of that. <laughs> All right. Next up, probably recommend it. You know that sticker. You know where I got this. Um, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS Forza Horizon 4. Uh, this was, what, 2021 release? Maybe? Maybe 2020? Copyright 2020, so it probably came out in 2021. Ugh. But. Yeah, good looking car. I mean, this one was very. Ooh, okay, good. Just crap that was on it. stuff on there but anyway um great looking portion 
love the details on the back here. And it's not like overly in your face for it. It's just you got the smaller, smaller shoulder on the door, a little bit on the wing, but outside of that, plain green, your generic GT3 RS paint, just a couple Forza logos on it. Looks awesome. <laughs> Nothing else to really say about it. I like it. All right, next up, the first release of that 66 GTL. Now, this one, paint wise, is based on the. I don't know if it was a commission build Hot Wheels had done or what, but there's a, it's a 66 or 67 GTL done, painted exactly like this. With the great, great five spoke wheels. It's like if you compare. The in uh, 20, 2009 Garage Series, there was a 67 GTO that they released there. Same paint, same wheels, but it's just the, it's the old it's the older uh, 67 GTO tooling, which I like a lot more than this one. <laughs> so. Yeah, still not the biggest fan of the casting. <laughs> I probably won't pick up any more outside of these two going forward i just don't i don't like the i not not thought maybe if i got them and opened them i would have better appreciation for it not at all <laughs> all right newest boulevard i found of the so 51 through 65 is the only one i've come across so far um so the uh 78 Ford Escort RS 1800 Mark II. It's debuted in a Ford racing display set uh, 2021, which I do have. Um, in the second release of this casting. And it looks cool. Nothing else to say. <laughs> Just cool, really awesome release to see. There's a go, it goes perfect with the rest of the Ford racing stuff. And, uh, there's that new, uh, I think RS200 Mark II? 2000 Mark II? I don't know. It's another Escort. I think it's Mark III. I don't know. It, it's a 2023, uh, new model. Um, but that, I'm hoping that one ends up with a metal base at some point, too, for Car Culture or Boulevard. All right. Next up, one that I was surprised to see. I mean, uh, pop or uh, entertainment line matrix 64 Lincoln continental the nice thing about this one if you don't like the movie you care for the movie you care about the uh tie in with that take it out of the box uh the package just a basic 64 Lincoln continental in black <laughs> so i was surprised this one was done Honestly, I did not expect this one at all. But it's cool that I I like that it came out. It's cool that it happened. Um, and like I said, it just looks like a a generic uh, Link Continental. Don't even need it without the movie tie-in. So perfect for those that don't care about entertainment like that. <laughs> all right. And this is going, getting into the Fast and Furious crap here. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't know, people are complaining left and right about Fast and Furious, kill, let Fast and Furious die out. There's like, no reason to keep going with it, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of releases in that line that you take away the card, you take them out of the card, and they're just a general, just a basic release. Like, there's, uh, I think there's a white S, or no. It was a white S15. No. No, that was car culture. No, it was a, the gray S15. Sylvia S15. There's that Jeep that came out. The 92 Mustang. The, um, there's other results. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm blanking right now. But, like, there's a lot of releases or like the in the Fast and Furious that you take them off the card. And you won't even you wouldn't even know that's part of the movie franchise, and that's where I think a lot of the that's where a lot of the good comes out of it. It's just they do a lot of the repeats and stuff like that. But um, I think that's what a lot of people need to look at. 
like some yeah there, there's a lot of like what the point what's the point of repeating stuff but at the same time there's a lot of new new stuff coming out too or general really your general basic your your factory looking cars basically so anyway uh this is the second fast and furious mix for 2022 of the pop culture line um everyone like another just like the first just like the first mix all of them are repeated ver repeated cars um but these all have black wheels instead of chrome or whatever they're all different wheels from before and i only picked up i picked up the four here i i hate cool car i don't care for the look of it so i didn't buy one um but i picked obviously i picked up the other four and yeah i have the first ones do i need to grab these probably not but i like them say about them. yes i'm probably part of the reason that not me specifically but you know it's like people like me that we're gonna buy them <laughs> we have a love for wheel variations especially those some of us that grew up in the 90s like started collecting in the 90s we love our wheel variations so we see one it's like ooh, different wheels i want so plus i love the i love this s14 casting this is, of the four here this is easily my favorite one so yeah next up the yellow r33 uh Le leon leon's car first movie and never seen again <laughs> it's a shame what happened to the real one if i recall correctly the real the real car that was used in the movie got crushed due to some legality things and whatever and yeah so yeah just black wheels on this one instead of i think i think i had the six spoke chromes before uh, all right next uh too fast too furious R34. And then, like, at least with these ones, like, because some of the basic Fast and Furious lines, like, why people are going nuts over them or for a while there, it's like, why don't even have, like, the first release of the R34 for the basic uh, Fast and Furious mixes at least had all the deco. I mean, it was all, it was. Pure blue, not instead of the fade like on the real car, same with the side here. But I mean, it, it had all the deco. And each subsequent release had less and less. And it was just like, why? And then, like, but it was like becoming more and more people were going nuts and trying to get them, especially with the ones without. Like the last release that I remember, there was no Hideko here. It was like just the blue stripes here, the taillights, and that was it. That was all that was on it. And people were going nuts trying to freaking find I'm like, why? It's an inferior product. <laughs> why are you going nuts trying to get these things? But anyway, I don't know. It looks good. I like I like it with the black wheels. I mean, obviously it's not correct per the movie, but I think it looks good with the black wheels. And lastly, at least of all these single cars, the 95 Eclipse. And of the three releases that this has had so far, I think this is actually the best best looking one. Um, because like the first release had the the wagon wheel six spokes, which just looked looked weird. I was okay with it, but it looked weird. The second release had ten spokes, chrome ten spokes, which looked better, but with the black. Uh, six spokes here of the like the minor six spokes here. I think this one is actually the best looking, even though not none of the three are technically correct per the movie. But yeah, all right, these over here, maybe. All right, let's see what we're gonna do now. We'll do two packs next. A couple two packs that I got. First one I got is the Knight Rider pack. I think I have a loose uh, kit from a prior release already. I didn't have car, so that's why I grabbed this set. If I already had a loose one of both of them, I wouldn't have bothered. 
I know for a fact I don't have car loose. So I had to get one. Now that I look at it closer, it's kind of bothersome. It's white and not silver or gray on the bottom there. But at least it's got the correct uh, light there in <laughs> the front. And then you got kit. This one got... Oh, hey, cool. They did do the uh, the deco on the dash there. I know a couple of the uh, entertainment ones uh, after the first one didn't have the deco on the dash. But this one does. The card sadly doesn't. But at least Kit does. So that's good to see. That's a quick one. Uh, next up is the NASCAR style stack car two pack. This is the first two pack that I believe. I think this is the first two pack that has doesn't have a repeated car in it. Neither of these have been done in this deco before. Or at least that was released. For all I know, there might have been a planned, a planned release for something that got canceled. Who knows? But now we got the 66, yeah, 66, 66 Chevelle and the 69 Torino Talladega from this two-pack. Awesome to see this one come back. It was only used, the first time this was used with the metal base was the 2011 uh, Vintage Racing with um, one in Petty Deco, one in A.G. Foyt, and that was it. That was the only time this, this casting ever got used in premium like that. Um, so definitely happy to see it come back. I know there was a Fast and Furious one. Maybe we'll see that in 2023 with the series coming back. Um, that would be cool. Maybe we'll see it. Who knows? And then the 66 Chevelle, another one we just don't see. The, we don't see this one often. Debuted in, again in 2021 uh, Vintage Racing in uh, Smoke Eunuch, number 13 deco. It is a uh, completely illegal car. <laughs> I love how like two of the cars that were done in 2011 Vintage Racing were basically cars that didn't race or should not have raced because <laughs> the... Uh, um, there's a, like a pale yellow, uh, 65 galaxy in the line as well. That one should not, that car should not have raced. If you look up the, uh, Junior Johnson yellow banana and you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> so awesome to see these two get used. And finally a two pack that doesn't have a repeated deco. So all right, next up, move my arm here so I don't knock shit over. Uh, team transports. I picked the. Uh, we got the Porsche 962 and Sakura Sprinter shell deco here. Is it open, maybe. Yeah, I'm opening them off camera because it's just easier. I don't want to drop stuff on the cars on the table. <laughs> so there's your sprinter nothing big there this is the one everyone cares about and the deco is clean no bleeding that i can see unlike the uh golf porsche that was on a prior video um yeah oh, a little bit right there nothing too bad though but nothing else it just looks like it's dirt from racing so there's a little bleed from the black into the white and yellow. But, like, that's not, it's not too egregious, and it almost just looks like it dirt, just being dirty from racing. It's not like the, that Golf, Golf Porsche I opened up before, that the orange bled into the blue, and it just looked horrible. All right, next up, we got the Liberty Walk R34 with the Fleet. Fleet Street truck. If I could pop this out of the plastic here. There we go. Actually, there's a truck. I don't care about it. And a lot of you probably don't. <laughs> this is the one everyone, this is the thing everyone cares about. So, Multool Advan, Multool Livery. 
The debut looks better. This one's just I I just I liked it anyway, so I figured I, I grabbed the set. I really want to get that new set that's out with the uh, Rover A6 or whatever it's called, the uh, the rally van, and then uh, what else is in that mix? The IWC Mercedes and Mercedes GT, and then the uh, Speedways truck with the uh, hydroplane, like a hydroplane boat. Anyway, um, yeah, just good looking car. I, I think the debut of this car was the best one for sure, but yeah. And then lastly of the team transports, at least without the display sets, is Snake 2. I'm really hoping they do Mongoose 2 soon. They should. They better. <laughs> Not that I can do anything about it. But it would be a shame if they didn't. Put the truck over here. And your snake too. So this deco already got used on this casting once before. It was in, uh, excuse me, 2000, 2009 or 2010. Uh, excuse me, uh, Dragster Demons. We already got Snake 2. Mongers 2 was already also done in there already, but I hope that gets done again for this set for Team Transport. I don't even care if it's not with this truck. I just it needs to be done. At least in my opinion, it needs to be done. Alright, next up, we'll do the BMW set first. Yeah, move these out of my way for the moment. We will open her up for the BMW set. I found this and that, uh, I don't know what you would call it, the Japanese set. The one. That one. <laughs> we got them at, found them at the same time at the same Walmart. So. I hate that these sets are as expensive as they are, though. $28. And, I mean, comparatively, I mean, the cars. All right. Figure 650 a piece. That's 1950 for three cars. And then, is it really worth an extra nine bucks for the hauler truck? Some people might say yes. Some might say no. I don't care that they're in a displace case because I'm opening them anyway. And yeah. Anyway, let's get this first one off of the case here. And there it is. M2. M2. Yeah. So, get these rubber bands out of here. Because they're annoying. At least these aren't going to ruin paint because they're under the car. So... There you go. Cool looking car. M2 with this deco. I don't, I don't know if this is like a modern uh, BMW race deco that they use. So I have no idea. I'd have to look that up. All right, next up, M3. Let's see, get the off thing here. Rub bands there. Get these out of here. Maybe. Kinda. Shoot. There we go. Uh, back here. I need new uh, cases for these too, because I, ha I I don't put these in. The, I don't put these uh, display set uh, cars in a uh, usual jammer. I there's uh, different uh, cases I get for these, and I gotta. I got a couple new ones. I got more uh, team, like from the last uh, sets of team transport stuff. I don't have them in a the box in the cases yet. I got to get new ones. But anyway, I, I like I really like this M3 casting. Um, I don't know why. I just I I'm not a huge BMW guy. 
but this uh, E46 is really nice as far as like the casting itself is concerned. And then this version, I think, just looks cool. All right. And now for the one everyone has been clamoring for, the M5. Open her up. Oh, that didn't work. Hang on. God damn it. There we go. And there she is. I'll get these rubber bands out of here. And yeah. And there we go. Cool looking M5. I'm sure we'll see, we'll we'll definitely see this casting again somewhere, but it'll be this one will look sick in black. I hope we get a black one soon. <laughs> black one and then a blue one. So there was a the M3, the blue that this M3 was done in before. I forget if it was Car Culture, Fast and Furious, or whatever it was. That color would look awesome, I think, on this M5. So, yeah. All right, uh, and the truck. Anyone care about the truck? Here's truck now no one cares about the truck <laughs> open that i'll get that later all right next up japanese set i don't know what they called this set specifically obviously the one the one prior is we just everyone just calls it the bmw set and i know these all have like specific names i don't think they release it and uh yeah all right so we'll do newcastle last because why not First up, we will pop off the silica. There we are. Move the rubber bands. Come on. And then this one. Oh, I'm back here too. So and there she is in red. So can we focus? There we go. Maybe yeah. Anyway, um, cool looking casting. I mean, it debuted in the uh, Mountain Drifter set early in 2022. Uh, second, so it's the second release, and I I kind of like it in this red a little more. Thought that neon neonish yellow from the first one was pretty cool, but this one I think it just looks better. <laughs> I mentioned it before. I kind of hope that, uh, as I think they uh, from the rally team, we get one in that deco at some point. Um, that'd be awesome as like a team transport. Next up, we got the hell's the next one? Oh, the Civic. Civic EG, I think, is what this one is. I don't remember. Actually, hey, look at this. Isn't this kind of a repeat? I thought we got this in the similar deco in uh, Fast and Furious already. Maybe not. I know, I know. I'd have to look. I can't remember. <laughs> But, you know, people have been going nuts for the supercharger under this cast. I don't get it. But, hey, whatever. Good looking cast. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a good looking casting. I just, it's a, it's a Civic. <laughs> Even if it is a type. Even if it is based on a Type R or something. All right. And then, again, the one everyone's been after. Nissan Sentra R. Uh, real quick that's the truck oh I think it's uh, not open wide no same one as the Fleet Street the same one as the, uh, that Motul uh, R34 anyway and here is the Sentra get these rubber bands off of here One second, sorry. And there we are. 
Again, I wish the window wasn't as tinted as it is. But another one, a lot of people were going nuts for this one too. And uh, I don't get it. Or SER, I should say. Centra SER. But I'd have to really look into what the car itself was. I guess these things were pretty damn fast for what they were. So, yeah. So, anyway, that is it for this premium video. It's going to take me a bit to pack up. I'm gonna, how long is this video? I got 36 minutes. Not too bad. So, there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we will... Well, yeah, let me know which one was your favorite of the set. Bunch of random premiums here. <laughs> All right, everyone, take care. Hope everyone has a good one, and we will see you next time.